Congratulations to you guys you have made till now and I welcome you all to the very first machine learning lecture and in this particular lecture we will be dealing with the first machine learning model that we have in our course that is a linear regression model. It is basically a regression model and it's a very basic model to understand. In this lecture we will be understanding what linear regression model is, how it functions and what are different components involved in training a machine learning model okay so let's move on so suppose we are given this data x and y where this x is the input value and y is the output value these and x y could be any for example this is the experience of an employee and this y is the corresponding salary although there are many components in predicting the salary of an employee let's just take an example that we have only two parameters one is input and one is output right so we feed in this particular data to our linear regression model and our linear regression model will predict this y value based on this x value right you can have uh, different input values also but linear regression model can only work on a linear hypothesis that is a single degree hypothesis what what i mean to say is i'll show you in the coming time don't worry about it okay so let's move so hypothesis this is the most important thing when we are dealing with a machine learning model each machine learning model has a hypothesis using that it predicts the value and in case of linear regression we have y equals to mx plus c right Let, let's treat it as a y predict value okay and this x is the input and this y is the output so this is the input and this is the output now most of you must be wondering that it is a simple line equation mx plus c so yes you are thinking right this is a simple line equation a linear regression model work on a very simple hypothesis mx plus c so after training the machine learning model this y equals to mx plus c will be a hy final hypothesis initially before training our model we have only input values right uh, we we don't know about m and c so we train our model by training what i mean to say is we have to find the most optimal values of m and c so that after training our model we have this final hypothesis y equals to mx plus c and using this mx plus c we feed in x values and m and c will be the optimal values we have already find out after training and feeding the input values x we can predict this y value okay what i mean to say is suppose this is x and this is y now mx plus c m means the slope right and c here means the y intercept intercept right so once after training the model you will have your final hypothesis let's say uh, let's say this is your hypothesis okay and you are given these x values in your data so using this hypothesis you can easily predict the y value how you can simply enter x in your hypothesis so mx plus c so entering so corresponding to this x value we have this y value corresponding to this x value we have this y value corresponding to this x value we have sorry we have this y value okay so these will be the predicted values of y so this is how a linear regression model works you train your model to let it have the final hypothesis with the most optimal values of m and c and using this mx plus c you predict your values now the question arises what i mean to say by optimal value right you could have any values of m and c but what it means to have m uh, optimal values of m and c initially okay wait let's understand cost function first so you are having your hypothesis y equals to mx plus c right initially when we start training our model we have this input value right we give any random values to m and c okay and then our model will calculate the our model will use those random values of m and c 
and the input we have passed and the model will predict this y value right but we have to calculate the cost so cost is equals to 1 upon 2n where n is the total number of data entries we have y predicted minus y whole raised to the power of 2 and it will be summation i equals to 0 to n that is total number of data entries so this is how we calculate the cost or you can say error of a linear regression model okay so suppose initially you are given x and y values i have told you that when you train your model or your model knows about x and y values and at the time of testing your model you will you will pass on x value it will give you some y predicted value and then you will compare this value okay let it be x train y train this is x test this x test values won't be seen by our model when it is training at the time of training it has seen these two data components only this component when we feed in for testing it will predict some y predicted value and then we will test this we will compare this y predicted value with the actual value that is y test value corresponding to these x test values right and we say that our model is this much accurate okay so suppose initially we have x train and y train so let's mark the points okay now let's say these are the training data points we have given to our linear regression model and we have initialized m and c randomly so suppose this is our hypothesis line right now calculate the distance of these points from this data it has zero distance okay so now these points on this line will be will be the y predicted value of our model okay so we will compare the distance of this particular value or sorry we apply this cost function on these points these points were the actual y test values y train values and this is the predicted hypothesis so based on this our model will find out a cost value okay let's say the cost value is 100 or any value now our target by training what i mean to say is that initially we have random we have randomly given m and c values but when we keep on training our model this hypothesis will fix to a position say this okay where we have the most optimal values of m and c and by most optimal value i mean to say that the more lesser the cost will be the better the performance of a linear regression will be so our target is to decrease this cost value and to accurately predict the value our target is to find out a hypothesis value or a best fit line so that the distance between our predicted value and the actual output will be least so that we, we could predict the model predict the value of our input very accurately right so this is how a linear regression model works it has a hypothesis we given it m and c values randomly it finds the cost function and we we have to reduce this cost functions by again updating this m and c value now the question arises how to update these m and c values and to update this m and c value we have a very important thing to understand which is gradient descent algorithm and we will understand the concept of gradient descent algorithm in the next coming lectures okay so this was all for this lecture best of luck keep following and in the next lecture of gradient descent algorithm you will see and understand the entire process of how a linear regression model trains and finally how we can test it we will be understanding about the gradient descent algorithm which is there to reduce the cost function and find the most optimal values of m and c okay so first of all we have the uh, we perform forward propagation then we calculate the cost now our target is to reduce the cost right so suppose this is a cost function 
and initially we have this much cost our target is to reduce this cost value right so what we want is we in, we perform the gradient descent algorithm and we descend to this particular function till we reach it over to this point where we have the least value of cost function right but doing so there is a very important parameter involved that is alpha this is the learning rate in case of a gradient descent algorithm if grade if alpha is too high then what will happen is we will jump it uh, we can directly jump over here then it will go over here then it will go to here then it come back then it will keep on moving and won't reach to the optimal value so easily right there is one more case that if we have a very small alpha right so let's say this is our cost function and if we have very small value of alpha then what will happen is this is our cost function it will come over here come over here come over. so it will take a huge time to reach to the optimal cost function value so we need to choose this alpha very carefully so as to reach and reduce our cost function efficiently right now let's understand how the gradient descent and back propagation works so we have our function y equals to mx plus c and we want the most optimal values of m and c but how for that what we need to do is we find a new values of m after we calculate the cost we reduced the c values so let me show you here we update the parameter new m equals to m minus that is the old value of m minus alpha del cost by del m so this basically is the backward propagation we are re reducing cost with respect to m right so which is equals to m minus alpha 1 by 2n because we are differentiating by n uh, m so there is no need to do with anything with n so we take it out and now we have inside y predicted minus y raised to the power 2 by del m right now this 2 and this 2 will come out this 2 will come out and this 2 will cancel out okay so we will be having m minus alpha by n now this y pre and uh, on differentiating it will 2 will come out it will be y predicted minus y and again differentiating this y predicted minus y with respect to m now y predicted equals to m x plus c minus y right by del m okay so it is equals to m minus alpha by n y predicted minus y and when we differentiate this particular function with respect to m this will cancel out this will cancel out and we will left with x only right so this is the final value of our new m value so new m value will be equals to m minus alpha by n y predicted minus y into x okay and similarly for c new c equals to c minus alpha del cost by del c and which is equals to okay uh, this step this step will remain same and now directly i am writing alpha by n y predicted minus y del mx plus c minus y with respect to del c and now when we differentiate this function this function with respect to c this will cancel out this will cancel out and del c by del c equals to 1 so we will left with c minus alpha by n y predicted minus y into 1 so this is our new value for c okay so this is how we find the values okay now after finding these values we update our parameters so m dash equals to the value we have that is old value minus alpha by n result of back propagation right 
so this is the final m value this is the final c value c minus alpha by n y predicted minus y into 1 okay so what happens is basically we have forward propagation where we solve y predicted equals to mx plus c right then after finding this y predicted value we compare it with the actual value and we find the cost which is equals to summation i equals to 0 to that is total number of points n 1 by 2 n y predicted minus y raised to the power 2 now we want the least value for cost we want to reduce it as possible so for reducing it we do backward propagation and we use gradient descent where we find del cost with respect to del m and we find del cost with respect to del c and then using this result we update our parameters and which is equals to this right and now we will again use these parameters in this particular equation and the entire step will keep on continuing these iterations will keep on working on till the number of iterations where we find the most optimal values of m and c and once we have found it the most optimal values of m and c our hypothesis m x plus c is ready and we can feed in any values to our model and it will predict a output value for it so this is how the linear regression model works this was all the maths behind linear regression model so thanks for following this lecture and best of luck keep following